Once upon a time, there were no cars and there were no jets. We traveled the plains by riding on trains. Those trains mostly were diesel, and I really wish something rhymed with diesel other than weasel and easel. Okay, just remember trains and diesel, and you're halfway there. Trains need a few things to operate, including plenty of wide open space, steel tracks to ride on, and power, which is delivered by a locomotive. And over the last century, locomotives got their power from steam, electric, and diesel electric engines. Today, only one stands as the workhorse for the railroad industry. The Henry Ford Museum of American Innovations, Matt Anderson took me to the rail yard in Greenfield Village to explain which technology won the locomotive battle. So what happened to the steam locomotive? Well, as beautiful and wonderful as they are, they require a lot of maintenance. Okay, I mean, it's such a part of the American story. Yeah, you know, it's no exaggeration to say the country was built by locomotives like that. So what began replacing it? They were replaced beginning in the early 20th century with diesel electric locomotives. This year? Right like this, yes. Sorry, this replaced you. For all of their advantages, steam locomotives had a number of disadvantages as well. You had to have a large crew, at least an engineer and a fireman, and then you needed a large maintenance staff to uh, tend to the locomotives. Diesel was turned to pretty early on because it operates with a great deal of precision and they can run for thousands of miles without a whole lot of maintenance, which is ideal in a railroad setting. Unlike steam locomotives, which require burning wood or coal to heat up a boiler to produce the steam, the diesel electric locomotive uses the internal combustion of diesel fuel to generate power, which is then sent to a generator. That part is what? That's the generator. That's actually producing the electricity, and that is operated or powered by that diesel engine in front of it, running on just regular diesel fuel. And that's what's making the piston go boom, 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 Yep, pistons are going up and down on that, right, turning a crankshaft just like in a car, which then turns that generator. But it's instead of coal being shoveled in the boiler, creating the heat that moves the piston, here it's the fuel that's being burned. Right, fuel is being burned to generate that electricity. Could I drive it? I think you could, would you like to try? Is it an automatic? <laughs> You'll be fine, yes. Okay. The Henry Ford's David Lee Pelt taught me the sequence to fire up this 75-year-old diesel electric. Good. The engine started. The engine started. That's all you needed to do on a diesel locomotive. Now, of course, a steam locomotive, it takes six, eight hours to warm up. You're gonna push that lever forward and you're gonna release the brake. Get two toots on the whistle. Push the button in, pull the throttle out. And you're away you go. Wow. And you're moving. Smooth ride. Can I make this go faster? Yeah, you can pull back on the handle a little more. Diesel electric engines can reach speeds of up to 70 miles per hour while hauling freight. And who doesn't love the power of a 50-ton locomotive barreling down the tracks? I'm driving this train. 